stay the course, thousand points of light. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Ken and I'm on a journey to lose as much weight as I possibly can so I can become a fat guy no more. I want to start this week off by saying thank you to all my returning subscribers. I appreciate you very much. You're keeping me motivated, keeping me moving. The support is just honestly overwhelming at times and I thank you so much. If you're new to my channel, I'd appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button so you too can follow along. So week 28, week 28 um, started out on the 10th of March with me taking a shot of 7.5 milligrams. Now I know, I've talked about it, 7.5 is not my friend. Um, and I had already gone back up to 10. Um, but talking to my doc at my six month appointment, I, I mentioned, well, maybe I'll keep the extra couple 7.5 shots that I've got and wait until I eventually hit 15, double up, call it good. She suggested, however, that I go ahead and take a shot of, of 10, and then the following week I take a 7.5, and then a 10, and then a 7.5, until the 7.5 is gone. She said she would rather me take them that way instead of waiting and doubling up at 15, because um, we have no idea how long it's going to be. I mean, granted, the pens are good for a long time, but just in case. And she said that that'll keep more Manjaro in my system over a longer period of time, especially since I'm just coming back from having stepped back up. And I took her suggestion, so last Friday I took a shot of 7.5. Not only was it that, but for the first time ever, I did it in the arm here. Um, well, full disclosure, I handed my wife the pen and had her <laughs> inject it into my arm. Um, just to make sure I didn't mess it up. She thought it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird giving somebody else a shot like that. But um, at least now she knows exactly what it's like doing that. So it was twofold. So this week I was wanting pizza. Um, pizza has always been one of my go-tos. Love a good pizza. Um, but they're not healthy at all, really, um, as most of us know. Um, especially when you're trying to stay away from a lot of sodium. Pizzas are, if nothing else, a sodium bomb. So I made my own. I made my own taco pizza. I found uh, some crusts on Amazon that are fairly low in sodium, and I made my own. I actually turned that into a short, and so if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description below. Um, but I love a good pizza, and this, this turned out really good. Now, it's not something that I could have every single day, but one quarter, a full fourth of the overall pizza, comes in at 439 calories, 469 milligrams of sodium, 30 grams of protein, and 363 milligrams of potassium. So that's not too bad. Often I'll have, I guess, half of that, so one eighth. So I use, typically cut the pizza into eight slices and then can have two or sometimes I'll have just one. And I'll do like I do anytime I make it. I'll freeze the rest, vacuum pack it, and it's ready to go for meals uh, down the line. All right, so with that said, let's take a look at this week's numbers. I came in this week with an average of 1,198 calories per day, 100 and 14 grams of protein, 40 grams of fiber. My sodium averaged 1157 milligrams a day, and my potassium came in at 3,503. So with that said, what did it do for me on the scale? Well, if you remember, I took a shot of 7.5 this week instead of 10, so I wasn't quite sure what was gonna happen. But, I went down five. Five pounds. I can't argue with that at all. Um, so that gives me the last three weeks of dropping six pounds one week, six pounds the next week, and then five pounds this week. And again, I mentioned it in my last update, and that is that I went 19 days and only lost one pound. And now, in the past 21 days, I've lost 17, 17 pounds. Yeah, I'm not going to argue about that at all. So that gives me a grand total of having lost 135 pounds now with Manjaro and an overall weight loss of 170 pounds. You know, I'm the kind of guy that likes to, to try to figure things out. I love a good murder mystery TV show, movie, 
And I, I love looking at statistics and numbers and, and just seeing if I can find patterns and if I can find a reason why things are happening, a reason why they're going the way they're going. When it comes to weight loss, it's quite confusing, at least for me, because each week I share with you guys my numbers from that week. And you can see I'm, I'm fairly consistent. There are some times where I'm just a little up or a little low, but I am fairly consistent. And so I... I don't know. I have no idea other than whatever is in that shot of Manjaro. Whatever it is, the 10 milligrams seems to be amazing to me. Now, again, this week was 7.5, but I started losing weight again once I went up to 10. Looking back, when I had to step back down to 7.5, I did lose 5 pounds that first week. I truly feel that that was residuals, for lack of a better term, of the 10 milligrams. Um, because then I went, like I said, 19 days with only losing one. Now that I've gone back to 10, I've had weeks of six, six, and five. Um, who knows what it's going to mean going forward, but all I know is that I'm just going to have to stay consistent. <laughs> I think as long as I stay doing what I've been doing, going to be fine in the long run. And, and I'll admit, I, my wife could tell this story better than me. Uh, maybe someday I'll get her on camera here. If you're watching it this far in, Comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see her on here talking about what uh, what I've been going through. Um, she's always looked at uh, at my channel and 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 this as um, as my thing. Meaning, she honestly, as far as I know, I don't even know that she's even watched one of my videos. Um, so I don't know. So comment down below if you want to see more of her on here and, and see if we can get her to to come on with us sometime. But with that said, man, another week down. 28 weeks now, 28 weeks that I've been taking Mondraro, 28 weeks has uh, has flown by in some respects. Um, it's, it's exciting, it really is exciting. And I am very, very grateful and very thankful for this medicine. Um, and for each and every one of you that watch these videos that keep me moving. I just hope you understand how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, to keep me motivated to keep moving forward. So with that said, we got St. Patty's Day coming up this week. I hope you guys have a, have a good one. And, um, you know, maybe find a little something, uh, something special at the end of that rainbow and that pot of gold for you this weekend. So hope it's a good one. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to follow me on my journey to become a fat guy no more, Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you can get notifications every time I upload a new video. If you're new, um, let me ask you to help me out here. If you do me a favor, what do they say? Smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much. And there's no chance in hell I'm using that.